Okay, hey there. We are going to start just in a minute. It looks like that yesterday party was great because most of you are not there yet. But too bad for that, we are going to start with us. Smile 
Software Solution in France. Um, just going to give you guys a few words to, about us. And I'm going to start off here with, uh, with another thank you. So uh, as Julian said, um, these events really could not be possible without, uh, without the hours of preparation um, from, from all the teams, um, especially uh, the Drupal community. As we know, uh, everyone kind of does this on their own time, so uh, on top of all their responsibilities at work. So a huge thank you to, uh, to, the, to the organizational team. Of course, uh, as well, uh, for, for all the delicious food that we've been able to eat this week, um, and the delicious weather, and once again, uh, to all the other sponsors as well. So um, thank you to, to everyone that, that made this event possible. Um, another big thank you to, to the first time sprinters and all their contributions to, uh, to, Drupal, to Drupal 8 and um, as well as to, to all these uh, members of the community that you see on the screen. Um, if you guys are here, thank you very much. We can uh, give you a round of applause, please. And uh, we counted 17 issues fixed and that number could have changed since yesterday. So. Uh, so, Smile, we're, uh, we're a market leader for open source solutions, and our headquarters are in Paris, but we have, uh, we have an agency spread out throughout France and Europe, you'll, you'll see on the next slide. Uh, when it comes to our CMS of choice, obviously, uh, we, we love Drupal. Uh, we're a leading Drupal expert in, uh, in Europe, and we've completed just uh, over 200 major projects, and uh, our team consists of around 100 Drupal experts, and that's obviously in Paris, but spread out through our other agencies as well. Here's a little map of where you can find us. Um, so you see we have a bunch of agencies um, through all the major cities in, in France, then um, in the Netherlands, in Benelux, Switzerland, uh, Morocco, Ivory Coast, Ukraine, and Russia. Um, so you can kind of find us all over the place. Just a little overview of, of the types of projects that we do. Um, we, we like to say that we're sort of a 360 degree agency and um, we can cover all your needs from consulting and hosting support, um, audits, training, obviously development, that's, that's our specialty, and then as well, um, we, have, we have an in-house digital agency um, in our agency in Paris and also um, in Lyon. So Smile, or it, it, it really is a special place. It was founded by four um, friends from university. So we're kind of built on this young, uh, lively, lively spirit. Um, we're a dynamic group. Uh, we we really uh, we promote very career paths. So as you saw from from this last slide, we we offer all different types of services. And um, you know, if you're if you start out as a developer and then one day you decide you really want to get into project management or even consulting, we're all about that. Um, we like the long-term uh, long career paths. Um, we're, we're definitely a friendly and open team and we, we promote open access to, to our executive staff and uh, to our experts. Um, at Smile, you can really uh, have the opportunity to sharpen your skills through training and um, we promote uh, certifications for our developers. Um, and obviously, we love um, to give back to, to the Drupal community, and that's, that's promoted as well. So, a little bit about why you should work with us. And if you want to hear more, we're going to be at the job speed dating um, today from 2.30 to 4.30, so we'd love to meet you guys. And uh, if you have any additional questions, we're here. You can find some of our other employees in their orange polos. I'm here, um, Vincent, Alan, uh, Moral. So yeah, we're here, we want to talk to you guys, and uh, if you have any questions, just let us know, and thank you, I uh, hope that wasn't too long, and uh, enjoy the party tonight, and uh, the rest of Drupal Dev Days, and uh, we'll see you soon, thank you. Thank you, Derek. And uh, now, we are here for also one reason, we have one big supporter, which is the French Association, which is uh, mainly Support, so thank you for that. And we let the president of the association have a word for that. Leon. Thank you, Julien. So, uh, how are you to, uh, to
today. Are you great? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can say, comment allez-vous? Let's say, comment allez-vous? Allez great. <laughs> have you seen at the end of your booklet, you have a, a mini guide about English and French words? So you can try French, you're in French. We can speak English, but you can try French too. So I'm Leon Cross, I'm the president of uh, this uh, global France and French Company Association. We are very pleased to host this event, thanks to the guys who uh, organized it, the Frog Team. And Julien, he wanted the event, he did all six to have the event in France. So, great job. You can applause, please. And, and, the team. and uh, you can say them when you meet them, they have uh, this kind of uh, work. Uh, so, uh, uh, was the food good? Yeah. Okay, so we try and it will still be good. So, enjoy. He spoke about uh, the community uh, party on the evening, so come and have fun. And uh, quickly, enjoy and try three things. If you didn't do it, try it for the first time, you will enjoy this book. Have a good day and thank you for coming to Montal. Do you feel this? Do you 
You go, Justin? Uh, you, you see that the full suite of happiness is really one important thing. But why really be happy? Why? Obviously, when you are happy, you can feel good. But it says more things. And all of these are full scientific things. People that are happy are like this. And it's quite well. It's quite interesting to have those kinds of people in the workplace. More quality, more popularity. Especially when you work on a free software. It would be really interesting. And I just keep all those things to say, wow. Happy people have more money. When, when I see that, I, I look for the studies to be sure that what to do. Yes, this, this, this study is this for uh, uh, 40 years with uh, university students that they follow years after years. And it works quite well. And, uh, even if they take only the picture of the, of the students in the, in the book of the university, those who were smiling on the picture, only smiling on the picture, have more money 20 years later. Well, we may not smile. Uh, and I think people are like this. They demonstrate more flexibility and more ingenuity when it comes to solve complex problems. And the test is, they, I, I don't recommend you to be uh, a guinea pig in a, in a psychiatry uh, laboratory, but uh, it's quite interesting to see that when they test those kind of things, they take people, they, they are waiting in the, in the waiting room, and they uh, act uh, different, uh, different things with, with one part of the group and one, another part. And with one part, they will uh, be rude with them in the waiting room. Uh, someone will, will bump to them and don't apologize and so things like that. And then they will have an IQ test. And with others, they will welcome them, reintegrate, uh, make them comfortable, give them a coffee and so on. And they will have an IQ test at the end. And the difference is more than 50 and it's university students. And it's every people, because they, they, they redo the test with larger groups. And just the way you behave before the test has a huge impact on your ability. And I think people have also other capacities. At the end, they are typically insular. They have a stronger immune system and they live longer. And it's the pool over their years. Even if there are really less studies about positive things, happiness, and so on, than studies about the depression, that's it. And it's real for a lot of things. And 
I'm sure that you already experienced this. And they tested also this for weaving, for example. It seems that the updates go back to the set point on the average of two years after the weaving. That can explain some things. And uh, it's not working for everybody, of course. I've read most of the studies. And the thing is that we are all going for initial set points. With those kinds of things. With changing the circumstance in, in our lives. We are going back to our set points. And these set points account for 50% of our happiness level. And this set point is Codinino G. We can we cannot do anything about it. But there's 50 percent left. And in those 50 percent, circumstances like buying a new car, marry the one you really love, having a baby, a new job, a rise, or something accounts for 10%. Quite nice. You can really push yourself to boost your 10%. But what are the 40% left? And the 40% left are only inter inter intentional activities. So you really can do something about it. Careful of the scale. <laughs> you put it on the Ready? Okay. Another difficult exercise. Sum up the numbers.
5, 6. Okay, not really good thing is if you remember well the 40 plus and more, whatever the number, it can be bigger. You can be more happy, you can be happier on this point. So you can sit down for the story. <laughs> Because of those 40 percent connected to intentional activities. And the contents of place would be interesting to use those intentional activities and maybe not do things that are really going against those activities. Some things are really obvious, like be positive. Quite simple. Or not. When, I, when I, one of the, the authors of the one book I, I recommend later uh, was the weekend for a seat in, in different universities all over the world. And, uh, and at some point, he go to South Africa and one of the, the professors take him to a, a small classroom in Soweto. And uh, when he see the students, he was thinking, oh, wow, how can I connect to those children? I don't know how they live, but I don't know how. I need to find something that will connect us immediately. And he tried to do something about our world. And where are you where at school? How, you, how, how, how do you feel about our world? How, were you enthusiastic about doing your homework? <laughs> so see, this question was obvious, it will work all over the world. And when he asked those, this question, all the children in the room said, Yes! <laughs> and he was, how, how can I manage this? And <laughs> the professor told him as well that all those children is going to school as a privilege. So doing their own work was a privilege. So they were really happy to do those own work. Ah yes, maybe that is exactly the same for everybody. And the thing about positive, being positive is not so easy. But there's a good thing, a good signal around us. For example, if you if you look at Alpha and PM Antiglass on Google, you will find that there's about 8 million results. Quite cool. But if you, if you look for Alpha Fool, you can see that there's 62 million results. So obviously there's <laughs> positive people in the world. <laughs> it's the same picture. <laughs> Also, you can encourage newcomers and uh, 
intend to have a diary. Because they will learn a lot of things when they enter your group, your company, your community. They will see a lot of things with new eyes. They will have new questions. And maybe it can be interesting that they, they share some, some learnings with you later. But they need to, to read, write this on a day-to-day -day basis because if they are not writing this, they will forget. And maintaining the diary can be really good to appreciate what is really happening and to, to notice that things are really happening. Good things or bad things. Software, so you know that helping others is quite important in your community. It's quite important in your workplace. And you can send, send thank you letter to, to those who help you. It can be also really appreciated. Maybe you can start with the with organized uh, more kindness day where you can try to surprise your peers with. Uh, it's something kind. Some people in the world try to organize a kind of day in the world. It is the world of kind of day on November 13th every year. I'm sure you didn't hear about this, but uh, you can try to have one. Not every year, but maybe sometime. I'm sure you know you are met with great kind of people. And it's not so difficult. Something I, I felt really more difficult was forgiveness. I was not really prepared to, to forgive anything. Um, usually 
uh, uh, I thought that other people should apologize, really, because of their behavior. But maybe it's difficult for me to. But I was not ready to forge it, really. And obviously, you know, all those things that you're not really all in grudges, but you just remember facts. And there's a lot of uh, pictures on the, on the web that show this kind of thing. But exactly like kindness, forgiveness is uh, at first better for us. Winning grudge is really eating us inside. So forging someone is really important. And in the workplace, it can be also really Organize things in a way that you can have some space to solve conflicts and enable people to form. Even sometimes you can forgive to people when they are not here. Sometimes it's easier. Uh, and it works also. Maybe sometimes you are not able to forgive directly to the person, but you you can do it even if you are alone. And in some in some way, uh, I think it's in young. They say, okay, take a deep breath, think about think about the person, and really for me. You heard about know, so this, this work, flow, the way of working, the way to be real, really in the present, invested in what you are doing. Have you experienced this? <laughs> when you are already living, living the present. And it's not so easy to really be there, be present, without thinking about what happened in the past or thinking about what will happen in the future. We are really focus on what is really happening now. And it's the same in the, in the workplace. When you, when you are working, sometimes you are multitasking, you are multitasking or you are doing something, thinking about what you need to do after that and so on. So you are using only a, a small part of your brain to do the current job and consuming a lot of resources to, to think about other things. So if you can try to focus on one thing at a time, you will really improve your comfort in your workplace. You can use some techniques like Pomodoro, for example. Or you can understand what better why one of the first principles of agile methods was focus. Because you need to focus on something really defined at the beginning of the screen. Work on it and then you have a really good present in your leaders. And it's really important. And it's really, really, really important the way you will collaborate, the way you will work. I'm sure you all celebrate your small success or your big success. I'm sure the party tonight is also a celebration party. You can celebrate, and there's a lot of ways to celebrate uh, good news and uh, to remember, to replay happy days for a team. And you can have uh, things like the work expo. Yes, you can expose your work, to show the work you've done, to, uh, your peers, to other teams, organize a 
went to school in the, in the world company, it'd be really interesting to celebrate this. This kind of, this kind of thing. It's not only the party, it's also before the party. It's a way to support life. But if we speak about the workplace, we will think about both. And sometimes, when we think about goals and individuals, we think about um, things like money. We will have more money. Well, cool. No? Yeah. Good. And the problem with those kind of goals, it's crazy. Goals, it's not motivation, not really motivating people. They will need to have uh, goals like when you play uh, those kind of games, it's definitely not for money. It's definitely not for learning anything. But you decide to play those games, and you will play it, and you will be highly motivated to play those games. You will really decide something. So we will need to have goals that are not coming from the top. Goals that will be decided by the people themselves. And it's quite difficult to have this, because we will need to really be sure that the vision of what the company, what the community, what the group, what is really understood. So you will need to discuss the vision and come up with goals that are really the goals of all the people involved in building them. And this will really bring you something. I recommend that you try to have goals that are really approaching something and not escaping something that. Approaching something good, not escaping something that. And you will work on goals that are really harmonious, flexible, Appropriate. It's quite fun to discuss with a lot of people about those kind of quality for goals. But when you say it can be appropriate, you can have a lot of discussion about some goals. And it's quite interesting because it brings a lot of value in the overall goal. It's not only one API. <coughs> And remember to do some big steps. To pick goals that are obviously no time you have a vision, a clear vision of what, how you will change the world. But maybe you need to start with some big steps to be sure that you are more than the same way you need to adapt to things are not going like you. When you work for uh, free on open source software, you know that nurturing social relationships means something. You know that belonging to a team, belonging to a group is really important. I didn't choose the, the group I one. To be part of something really big. Uh, Groupa is under uh, the GPL license. So that's good. To be part of something, belonging to something bigger than you is really important. Your happiness is not so important if it's not if it's only for you in pursuit of your happiness. If the only goal you have is definitely less best and it will not work. You need to be part of something bigger. And you need to belong to, belong to a team. And you need to collaborate. And when you think about the workplace, sometimes we forget that a team is about collaboration and teamwork. And we see a team as, okay, I'm the project manager. You will do this, you will do this, you will do this, and you will do this. And it's not collaboration and it's not teamwork. You will work with the team saying, okay, as a team, we want to go there. Let's go. Organize yourself. Make it happen. And this is very important. Yes. 
you, Julian told you that uh, I was about uh, involved in agile things. I would say that agile methods are all about collaboration. Promotion for. And you will need to invest time for talking to each other. Obviously, you know that of your idea. And you know that it's really important to talk to the people you, you work with, not only about the work, but all the things that can happen for you. And it's really important to invest in this time. So I will press this because I will try to. Almost all the time. Thank you. <laughs> but I will keep this one because it's really important. When I start working for an American company, I've seen people doing big things all over the place. And I was thinking, wow, <laughs> not with me, please. <laughs> no, 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 don't touch me. <laughs> uh, the first time uh, a big guy, really big, uh, me into his arms uh, because he was really happy to see me. Um, I was not so. Uh, I, I, I cannot say I enjoyed really the <laughs> moment. <laughs> Sometime after, I, I said, okay, uh, I, I was not able to resist to be really big. <laughs> I feel really connected to this guy. I really like him. But I'm working usually in Bordeaux or in Paris, and so he's working in Moria. And next time I see him, I take him into my little heart. It was quite weird. Yes, maybe our body has something to tell us about happiness. And maybe our body on our social relationship is something to tell us about this. Something really nice guys told us this before. It was a long time ago, we can Google this but a long time ago. Um, so body and um, sound. Are really two things that are really important. Obviously, if you speak about sound in the workplace, you will probably have some problems, but um, maybe you can try something else. Uh, when you say that uh, you need to focus and you need to maintain your attention on something, um, if you have some problems to do this, or your mind is constantly wandering somewhere else, uh, you can try to meditate. Uh, meditation is something really, at least not necessarily connected to a spiritual thing or a religion or something, but it's quite really, it's really impressive how it works. In 20 years ago, when, when the people started meditation, there was some really simple meditation uh, techniques. They would take uh, an object and they told people you can. Focus your attention on this subject during one hour. And now, when they ask the same thing, it's nearly impossible. Because we have uh, so much solic solicitation that we are really less able to focus our attention. So they ask the same exercise, but only for 20 minutes. And it's already really hard. On the first time I tried, I was able to focus my attention during a long, 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 long 60 seconds. It was really good. Uh, and you need to, to accept this, you, you are like you are. And, and with uh, several tries, you will be able to focus your attention longer. And then you will be able to listen to others with more attention. Not is saying something when you are already thinking about something else, or maybe thinking about what you will say. And you're not listening to him anymore. And the, the person will see that in your eyes. So maybe can 
end. And obviously, if you are already busy, you will need more. <laughs> but at this time, they know what busy was in. And for the body, you will say, okay, it's personal choice. If I want to eat something or to exercise in a way, or not exercise at all, it's my personal choice. But maybe sometimes in the workplace, you can organize things that will help people to be involved in part of something. And it's the Montreal team of, uh, of Innovers. They, they do something completely crazy. It was a uh, run in the, in, the, in the winter. And in Montreal, there's a real winter. Uh, and, and it was really crazy to see the, the guys that are really uh, uh, big, uh, big, uh, big runners and so on. They are doing uh, uh, exercise every day and so on. And others that are never, never done that before and do the training and do the course, do the run just for the event and continue afterwards. Some of them in the team. Uh, run a half marathon six months later as a team. So it was quite interesting. Do you have this? Hmm. It's a smile. I encourage you to try to smile with anybody, strangers. Just just for fun, just to see uh, how it works. Just to see if people do it. Maybe they will smile or not. Maybe they will be scared of you. <laughs> we don't know. But maybe we can try this. And I think it's like a chicken egg thing. You don't know if it's because you behave like an happy person that you are happy. And you provoke happiness of your fears, or if you are smiling because you are happy. And I don't know if you are really, really know this. And I would like to end with uh, introducing Hector. Maybe some of you know, already know Hector. Hector is a psychiatrist, and uh, he's looking for new ways to, to make this patient happy. Uh, so he's on a journey to, to, to search to understand happiness. It's a movie, and I will pass you just a small extract, a smaller extract. Are you ready?
are really good to adapt ourselves to our environment. And it works in both ways. And the interesting thing is that if the mood is bad in the place you are coming, you can you have to trust. You can adapt to this mood or you can try to to do something well. Try to change the thing. And sometimes uh, when I when I come home, my, my little daughter <laughs> Just doing weird things with lots of money and we can understand. But sometimes we need to try and experience it. Sometimes certain things are out and we need to take a deep breath and think about do you remember about this thing one else in 10 years? Thank you very much.